SIG P365XL, the one that almost fits in my banana hands. Start things off as always with our full mag plus one. We're using Fiocchi 115 grain. Purpose of the full mag plus one as well to break in the gun a little and see if it runs that way because surprisingly some don't. We do have a piece of steel today at about, uh, I don't know, 12, maybe 15 yards, not that far away, but we're forced to use the smaller range today. It happens. That just gives me something to aim at and hopefully hit while running through this. See how it goes. Oh, one malfunction there. Didn't fully eject. And now we're running. Now this Fiocchi ammo is older and the cases weren't quite so smooth. So I'm not sure if that's the gun or the ammo, but we'll find out in the what's for dinner if the gun runs smoothly with other loads. So to give the gun another chance, uh, it is the same older Fiocchi ammunition, but uh, we got our hands on one of the 15 round magazines and by getting hands on, I mean, I can actually get my whole hand on the gun. It does leave an odd gap back here, but uh, we want to test this mag since we will be using it in our what's for dinner test. So we've got loaded 15 rounds. I'm gonna run another 15 rounds through the gun. We'll make sure that everything cycles and uh, see if this magazine works. No issues with the gun, beautiful ring of steel. Now let's get to the what's for dinner. Who's hungry? It's what's for dinner time. Brought to you in part by the folks who help us out with ammo squared. As you can see, we've got a variety of different bullet profiles, different bullet weights and casing materials. Don't have any aluminum today, but we do have steel and nickel plated brass letting you see what each of these loads are. The purpose of this is to see, will the gun pick up these rounds from slide lock? Is there enough energy to cycle the gun and pick up the next round? The third round, just to eliminate any variables and see if it will lock the slide open when complete. That's how you know if the gun's gonna run with these, there's no need to do a full mag of them because we already covered that with the full mag plus one as the magazine test. All right, so up first on today's what's for dinner is the Inceptor 65 grain copper polymer round nose. I'm gonna shoot at target, or circle number one. It's not bad. And next we have the Ops 85 grain frangible hollow point. Circle number two. Shot a little low. And next we have Norma's monolithic hollow point in 108 grain. At target number three. Those are a little snappier. Next we have Koenig's 110 grain jacketed hollow point. See how they do on circle number four. Very nice. Next we have the SIG V Crown 115 grain jacket at hollow point. Target number five. Target circle, I'm gonna shoot it. A 
It's definitely a little snappier, but it does, it was a real smooth shot. Now the SIG 365 full metal jacket. This is supposed to be the same recoil impulse, same point of impact as the hollow points for training and optimized for these shorter guns at target number six. Add some snap to it. Also at 115 grain, our first steel load is zinc plated. This is a silver bear, some Russian stuff. This uh, has performed surprisingly well for us in the past. Steel, of course, has a different expansion and cooling rate than brass does. That's why we test it. Some guns don't like that. The zinc should help against corrosion and friction. So it cycles well. Whoa, that's snappy. Crikey. That's a visible snap. Jeez, felt like I was shooting plus P loads. All right, hopefully uh, that crazy Russian stuff was just a rare occurrence. This is also steel. It's from Hornady, their steel match. It's a 125 grain hap. It's a hollow point. I'm not sure what hap means. Anyone who does, please comment below for target number eight. Shot fairly well. 138 grain. This is the blue synthetic jacketed hollow point fragmenting crazy round from Federal. Uh, some of their newest stuff with the Catalyst Clean Burn Primer for target number nine. Woo! This has some punch too. Man. Little violent. And our heaviest load for today is just 147 grain. It's the uh, Federal Syntec training match, the stuff with the purple uh, synthetic coating. It's uh, a slightly rounded snubby, if you will, for target number 10. Ooh, that fed nice and smooth. It also tries to jump out of my hand. And for five shots from seven yards, gonna be using the Nozzler 115 grain. Why 115? Well, because some of those heavier loads were a bit punchy in this gun. We'll be shooting at the left circle square. I'm using the 15 round magazine so that I can get my whole hand on the gun. Whew, fireball. Ah, uh, through that one. Shot pretty tight though. So for my five shots from seven yards, I'll be aiming at the right circle square, also using the Nosler 115 grain. So far, I'm really liking this gun.
So my impressions on the 365 XL. The reason why I wanted to test this is when I shot it at a rider event, I found it much more shootable for me than the regular 365, simply because of hand size. I also like the slight ballistic advantage you can have by having a little bit longer barrel. That longer barrel also makes for a longer sight radius, which can make it easier to aim. It's hard for us to do apples to apples uh, on the aiming since our 365 is the SAS version, but I can say that this was not difficult to aim. Uh, the SIG, I believe they're called X-ray night sights that come on the gun, uh, were pretty nice. You definitely feel a difference in different loads uh, with this gun. So if you first try it and it doesn't feel comfortable, try different ammo because it really does make a difference. Not all guns show it as much or you feel it as much, but today in the 365 XL, we certainly felt that some loads hurt, <laughs> some loads were fine, but uh, I mean, you are getting a very compact firearm. The trigger was nice and crisp. I do like the uh, flat trigger that came in this Overall, uh, I found it a shootable and enjoyable subcompact carry gun. All right, so my impressions on this, um, I really enjoy it. It fits in my hand really well. I have a lot of extra down here. I could use a smaller magazine, but I like the option of having more rounds. Um, the trigger was really nice. I was able to keep my sight picture really well. It, there's not a lot of flip in the front. Overall, I, I think I really like this.